due to this stage of marriage, at least as the church has considered a, a, a teaching section, uh, if you don't accept that, if there is a deceit, maybe somebody has a psychotic problem and the family knows about it, or the partner is eating away from the partner, and those factors started manifesting during after marriage, the other partner might be depressed. It might be a response for depression because a factor, a hidden factor, is now unfolding. That's one of the reasons from the beginning. There should be no, uh, what we call, there should be no element of deceit because that one can transform to a lot of things. And then, can the depression leads to divorce? Yes, it's a big factor. It can lead to divorce because depression acts a lot of things. Um, above them all is losing of hope. When even people want to reconcile, they want to come together. Because the person has lost hope, he can lose to give us. We got efforts. Amen. Yeah. Our brother has shared his experience, has shared a lot of experience, has shared a lot of light on uh, marriage uh, problems associated with depression. Uh, can depression lead to divorce? Yes, it can. Particularly if it's a house, if it's a family that has no fear of God. Because if you don't have the fear of God, then all things can happen. Uh, all things can happen. The question of uh, a lifetime association is not there. Uh, and it can readily lead to divorce. Uh, yes, more contribution. Depression can lead to divorce. If the, the reason for the divorce is irreconcilable differences, that is the differences between the two that cannot be reconciled. Uh, sometimes you have, a, uh, let me just put it in a very simple way. Somebody likes eating dog meat, and that person doesn't even want to see dog meat at all. You know, the two are, are irreconcilable. So I'm just using it as a kind of a, you know, metaphor. So when the when the differences causing the problem are irreconcilable, eventually divorce will be the ultimate uh, result. Glory to Jesus. Honor to Mary. More contributions? Yes, please. Glory to Jesus. We are all Glory quite experienced Jesus. with this. Please. Glory to Jesus. Oh, Glory Glory to Mary. Mary and Joseph. <laughs> My answer to the three questions is yes. Each of them, yes, yes, yes. Uh, you know, this pressure, when, when not managed very well, can lead, can cause many problems. But we thank God for the word of God. From where we read, for Christians, you know, when you know God, you, you, you have already know how to manage depression. It's for those who are in the world, some of them don't know how to manage it at all. So when they are depressed, they have they, that is, depression is part of problem. They will start telling the whole world. From there, confusion. Uh, this this thing is disturbing me. He tell this one. Tell like, before you know they say, ah, go and consult uh, this prayer ministry here. Go to this person. They will solve it. You know, my point is that depression can come from different angles, from little problem, from big problem, from bad news. From something that even happens somewhere that doesn't concern you, it can cause depression. This, this means that we have to know, we Christians, we have to consult our God with prayer and reading of our Bible. And when you have problem, which is depression, you have to be calm. First of all, give it silence. Stay alone with good courage. Don't go and commit suicide. Though. Just try as a Christian. Hold your God and stay calm. Before you know it, it will even disappear. So the most important is how do we manage it? We have to manage it from the encouragement given to us from the book of Psalm where we read. Consulting our God and staying in prayer. Glory to Jesus. Honor to Mary and Joseph. So the pressure can be managed. Hmm? Uh, while also taking medical care and taking the necessary uh, medication.
medication that are required for helping uh, depression. Why is that? The, the people around the depressed person must be very cooperative. They must be very understanding. If they are not understanding, they can uh, worsen the situation. But as much as possible, the husband in particular, or the wife, depending on the one who is depressed, must be understanding. Must be understanding. And with prayers, I think it can be suppressed. And somebody needs us in a short prayer. So that we...